Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Happy International Students' Day. How you all feeling? Did the piano guy get you warmed up? Ah, oh, there we go, some light. Uh, my name is Danny from IDP, and it is my pleasure to host and welcome you to the second annual IDP's Got Talent Grand Finale. Our first event took place last year entirely online due to a mysterious new illness that you've probably never heard anything about. So isn't it great to be back in a real life venue and not on Zoom? And thank you to RMIT for providing this fantastic venue, our platinum sponsor and venue sponsor, RMIT. Um, so I actually have a degree that's more useless than a BA. I have a Bachelor of Creative Arts in music. My parents were horrified. How will you ever get a job with a degree like that, Danny? Look at me now, Mom! Look at me now! <laughs> Not only am I the Victorian manager of IDP, I have produced and written a cabaret show with the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. I'm re releasing my first EP in March. Um, I am living proof that your talents, however obscure, whatever they are, your talents can take you anywhere. Enough about me. I would like to begin by acknowledging the traditional talents of this land, the traditional owners of this land, the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation. I pay my respects to their elders, past, present, and emerging. Sovereignty was never ceded. It always was and always will be Aboriginal land. Yes, amen to that. A timely reminder that unless you're Aboriginal, everyone in Australia is ultimately from somewhere else, myself included. And tonight, we have the best talent from around Australia and from around the world. We've had over 150 entrants from all over Australia, and the finalists have been flown in from all corners of the country to compete for a whopping $10,000 in prize money. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're giving away $2,000 for third prize, $3,000 for second place, and a whopping $5,000 for the winner but we couldn't do this without our sponsors. So please give it up for our sponsors in no particular order. Uh, RMIT University, come on, hear it, keep going, clapping. Uh, Kaplan Business School, uh, University of Tasmania, UTS College, King's Own Institute, Deakin University, Swinburne University of Technology, and Campus Melbourne. Thank you for your money and your support. But before we get to the talents, I would like to introduce you to our panel of judges who are sitting at the back. Uh, first on the panel, we have Gary Lee. It's very bright, I know. Uh, for close to two decades, from an international student to senior fellow of IEAA and now the manager of the International Education Portfo Port Portfolio at the City of Melbourne, Gary has long been a passionate member of the international education community. Few will know, though, that over the years, Gary has juggled his professional commitments alongside a plethora of creative pursuits, including uh, being the pioneer and chief choreographer of Poison and Poison Bolly Pop, a director of fashion runway shows. He works on the annual Indian Film Festival of Melbourne and is a steering committee member of the African Music and Cultural Festival. In 2016, Gary was presented with the Australia Day Council New Australian of the Year Awards. Wow, quite a CV. Let's give it up for Gary. Hello, Gary. Good evening, Gary. Hello, hello, Danny. <laughs> How are you? Very good. I'd like to know a tiny little bit about poison. And for you, you guys can't see it, but it's spelt like poise. Mm. Poison. Poison? Yeah, yeah. Am I, poison. My poison. Tell us about that. Uh, Danny, so I was an international student myself about 100 years ago, about 100 years ago. And when I first arrived, a few friends of us got together and we watched a movie, um, Dilbole Hadipa, I think I pronounced it, I butchered it. So it's, those who know, it's Rani Mukherjee and Shahid Kapoor. I watched this Bollywood film, was obsessed with it, and we decided that we wanted to start a, a group. So it was a great way for international students to get together and we performed for many, many, many years. And I think it's not about how good you are, because we weren't very good, but we did perform at many, many different events because we we're passionate about it. And it was a good way for us to engage with one another as international students and with the local community. You do know we have a Bollywood troupe performing later we tonight. Do. Maybe you could get up here. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a few friends here that will go with me. Oh, so great. if they do, I will. <laughs> and what are you looking for in the performances today? 
I think it's all about stage presence. I think uh, I have no doubt all 10 finalists tonight will be bloody brilliant. So I think it's, I think someone told me before is, is if you get touched by it, if emotionally you feel, uh, my friend Jackie that I'd said, uh, if you feel it, you know it. Like if, it, if they excite you, they should be the winner. But everyone's a winner tonight. But you want to be moved to tears. I That's what I'm moved, hearing. Moved <laughs> Thanks, Gary. Thank you. Thank you. Give it up for Gary. Come on. <laughs> Alex. Hi, Alex. Alex has been involved in the international education sector for more than eight years, from international partnerships to student recruitment. He's currently part of RMIT's global student recruitment and marketing team and provides support to international students based in Australia and Latin America. Uh, Alex's career and globally focused mindset has been shaped through studies in international relations, as well as by living in Brazil and the US in his 20s. He speaks Portuguese as a second language and is currently learning Spanish. Alex's sporting and creative outlets include surfing, golf, film, photography. He believes that having passions outside of work and study showcase an individual's uniqueness to the world and shapes them as people. And for this, he's very much looking forward to seeing the unique creative talent being showcased this evening. Boa noite. Boa noite. <laughs> Como está? Estou bem, e você? <laughs> Um, you know, we've got a few Brazilieros in the, in the competing tonight. No, oh, no, there's, uh, yeah. I think there's about three of them performing yes. tonight, isn't there? No, are you, are you, so are you, are you singing in, are you, can you sing in Portuguese? Oh, very poorly, right. but <laughs> right. I try. How long did you spend in Brazil? Uh, full time for a year, but I've been going back and forth for probably about 12 years now. So cool. yeah, it's very much, I feel second home to me. Yeah, yeah, awesome. No, I can sing very poorly. I can't speak a word of it, but I can imitate. Well, you so, sang pretty well when oh, you were on the keyboard you. before in Bossa Nova, so... <laughs> uh, Alex, what are you looking for in tonight's contestants? I feel like create, showing, somebody showing how their creativity is going to be a real big factor in tonight as well. So, alongside um, what Gary just mentioned, creativity is going to play a big part in that. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, obrigado, Alex. Thank Gina you, Alex. Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Thank, give it up. Give it up for Alex. And finally, from IDP, we have Michelle Callanan. Hi. A marketer by trade, Michelle has spent nearly 20 years striving to understand what makes customers tick and how to communicate with them. Having begun her career in Ireland, she moved to South Korea and then on to Melbourne over a decade ago. She is Global Marketing Director with IDP Education and a board member with Wasima, Wasema, uh, a charity focused on improving the mental well-being, social and economic outcomes of women from all cultural backgrounds. Outside of marketing, Michelle has many talents. She can sing out of tune. <laughs> she can dance, uh, she can Irish dance poorly. And she can play the piano very badly. This makes her appreciation for what the acts are doing here today even more profound. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Danny. Uh, am I pronouncing it correctly? Wasima, Wasema? Yeah, spot yeah. on. How, tell us a little bit about that. So Wasima is an organization that's based in the southeastern suburbs of Melbourne and it's an organization that try and brings together um, women from all different backgrounds um, into friendship cafes and Wasima walks and talks and an opportunity for people to meet and collaborate and learn some skills and um, I suppose build a bit of a network for particularly people who aren't originally from Australia. Wow, awesome, yeah, <laughs> amazing work. And what are you looking for in tonight's contestants? I think similar to Gary and Alex, um, you know, creativity and um, being moved by the acts, I think, are very, very important. Um, but for me tonight, I'm just really excited to see how the crowd reacts, the atmosphere in the room for each of the acts. And I know that the caliber is going to be absolutely incredible. And I just think we're incredibly lucky to be here tonight to witness it. Amen to that. Yes, thank you judges. Some very difficult decisions coming your way. I'm sure we have seen a sneak preview of the acts and wow, have we got something for you. Now, without further ado, that's enough from me. Are you ready for the real talents? Yes. Uh, we want to, you to show as much love for our contestants as possible. Um, for some of them, it's their first time performing in front of a live audience. Be kind, be generous with your applause. Show us lots of love. For our first act, are we ready for our first act? Yeah. Woo! Hello there. Hey, Nia. 
Hi. Hi, Nia. Hello. Uh, and where are you from? I'm from Sweden. Sweden. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, and what would you do with the money if you won? So I would buy some studio equipment so I can work on my own songs and release my own music. Perfect. Take it away. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Oh, wow. That looks exhausting. <laughs> but you do, it, you do it with such pizzazz. Um, we might have a few comments from one of our judges. Michelle, what did you think of Nia's performance? That was absolutely incredible, Nia. Um, you can just hear from the reaction from the crowd, even halfway through your set, everyone was clapping their hands and really getting involved. You absolutely smashed it. Loved the diversity and the adaptability of your styles throughout. So absolutely nailed it. Well done. And you look amazing as well. Thank you, Nia. Thanks, Michelle. Give it up once more for Nia. <laughs> All right. Ready for our second act? Ladies and gentlemen, uh, please welcome to the stage, Sam. Woo! Hey, Sam. Uh, and tell us, Sam, where are you from? Uh, I'm from India. Uh, and what would you do with the prize money? Um, that's going to benefit my education a lot. Good answer. Thanks, Sam. Take it away. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hello everyone, uh, good evening. Um, hope you're having a good evening here. Um, I'm gonna sing one of my favorite songs. Um, it's Until I Found You by St uh, Stephen Sanchez. What a beautiful song. Uh, we might hear from one of our judges. Gary, what did you think of Sam's performance? Hey, Sam. Uh, namaste. You slayed that song. Yes. Thank you so much. Audience, do you agree? Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. Sam, that was beautiful. Uh, not, not just for the fact that you can sing and play the piano at that keyboard at the same time, but your storytelling, storytelling abilities were amazing. Uh, I, I can agree. 
I think I can assume that everyone in the room felt that you were telling them your story. Uh, I felt you were singing just to me. And that's a beautiful thing for a singer and performer to be able to do. So thank you for taking us on that journey. Uh, and congratulations. It was amazing. Agreed, agreed. I felt like you were singing directly at me. A beautiful performance, mate. Well done. Take a seat. Congratulations. Give it up once more for Sam. Moving straight along to our next contestant, I'd like to introduce you to Nicola. Nicola, are you around? Woohoo! Hey. Hi, Nicola. Hi. Where are you from? I'm from Singapore. And where are you studying at the moment? I'm studying at QUT, Queensland University of Technology. Brilliant. So welcome to Melbourne. Thank you. What will you do? What would you do with the money? I will give some to my church. I will also reimburse my dad some of the expenses he has to pay for my mom to come here. And also, I would love to give my family a nice dinner treat because it has been three years since I last saw them. <laughs> Very worthy causes. <laughs> give it up for Nicola, guys. Wow, look at those moves. Amazing. Wow. Let's hear from one of our judges. Alex, what do you reckon? Well, judging by the crowd, they were all pretty amazed themselves. So, hi, Nicola, how are you going? <laughs> how long have you been doing that form of dancing for? I've been dancing since I was three years old. Three years old, wow, incredible. I thought it was a really amazing performance, really creative and you looked so well poised throughout that whole performance. So a really great job. Well done. <laughs> Thanks, Nicola. Take a seat. Well done. Thanks, Alex. Thanks, Nicola. Moving right along to our next contestant, we have Julian. Are you there, Julian? Woo! Hey, welcome. Welcome to the stage. You look amazing. Uh, and tell us, where are you from? I'm from Indonesia. And where are you studying? I'm studying at JMC Academy, Melbourne. Awesome, local, she's Melbourne. Uh, and what would you do with the money? Oh, it would mean a lot for me to pursue my passion in music. Probably like get my busking equipment so I can bus in the city. Excellent use of the money. Take it away, Julian. 
ไปเอริโอลจูนอตโกอัปเดอไอเบกอบยูจูนอตโกอัปเดอิทิสเดนเจอร์สอ n e of my all-time favorite movies. Thank you. That's my favorite too. Yes, Michelle, what did you reckon? We have to. Oh, yeah, now we're, we're good. We're back. <laughs> That was absolutely amazing. I could not take my smile off my face for Thank throughout you. the entire performance. Really, really well done. Um, I love the introduction. I love the mixture of both, um, and your stage presence was incredible throughout, and and just that voice, just amazing. Well done. Thank you. Congratulations again. Well done. Take a seat. Moving right along to our next contestants, we have Tuan. Are you around? Hey. G'day. How are you? Yeah, I'm excited, but also like, super nervous. Oh, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Where are you from, Tuan? I'm from Vietnam. Uh, and where are you studying? Uh, I'm studying at uh, JMC. Cool. In Melbourne. In Melbourne. Great. Awesome. Uh, and what would you do with the money? Um, actually, my wife and I created a, a bank account for the baby in the future, and then <laughs> I want to. <laughs> 
it's a sympathy competition. <laughs> yeah, but uh, with the money, I can, you know, like I try to save as much money as, as, I as we can. So we can, uh, the baby can have a good education environment like me right now. So, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Take it away. It's a one-man band. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Gary, what do you reckon? Oh my God, I'm blown away. <laughs> well done, Tuan. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, the audience has spoken. I mean, uh, my mouth is only good for two things, which is to eat a lot and to speak very poorly. But yours is a musical instrument, so that's brilliant. And thank you for sharing that with us. And I hope your baby inherits that beautiful skill of yours. But I've got a question. When did you first realize you could do that? Uh, <laughs> Where you could beatbox? I think like around, oh, that's hard. Like <laughs> around, I started beatboxing at 10 years ago, but I didn't think that I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> like. 
I oh, know I haven't never thought that I can do that. Like I just, you know, play around with that and then. Well, uh, well, Swan, I have something to tell you. You can do that because <laughs> you did you. it. Well done. <laughs> Uh, well Michelle, done, Alex, and I expecting a private lesson after this. Thanks, Gary. Uh, introducing our next act for the evening, Arne Shaw, you're around. Hey. G'day, how are you? Good, good, looking very cool, so apologies. Uh, and where are you from? I'm from India. And where are you studying? I'm RMIT. Oh, excellent. Love that. Uh, and what would you do with the prize money? Uh, I would maybe take a good uh, music lessons for sure, like learn music production, because I started writing and singing songs just like one and a half years before. So, yeah. Awesome. Good luck. Amazing, amazing work. Thank you. Let's hear from one of our judges, Alex. Well, Andrew already gets t 10 points from me for uh, studying at such an amazing university. So. <laughs> yeah. No favoritism here, thanks. Yeah, no, no favoritism at all. But thank you so much, Andrew. Um, and first and foremost, I just wanted to ask what sort of got you into playing the guitar and what, what musicians inspire you? So I kind of... Uh so I want. Uh, I think Post Malone was one of the musicians who inspired me. Yeah. But I wanted to keep it a little bit different. So so this was my original song, which I oh, fantastic. did. So I wanted like yeah. while making song to have from like different contrast kind of mm -hmm. a country vibe and a like hip hop yeah. beat vibe. 
So. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for that poor thank you. performance. I think you have a really great voice and I thought you had a very commanding stage presence as well yeah. and extra creativity for putting your own song out there. So that, that was, I thought that was really awesome. Thank so you. thank you so, so much, Anshul. Thank you. Absolutely, and a composer as well. Awesome, great job. Thanks, Anshul. Thanks, Alex. Uh, we're getting to getting to the. I think we've passed the second second half of the show, so all downhill from here or uphill, depending on the quality of the performances. Uh, so next performance, I'd like to introduce Tebs. Are you there? Oh, Tebs de Brazil. Hey, how are you? Boa noite. Boa noite. Uh, and what uh, school are you studying at? I'm studying at JMC Academy over here in Melbourne. Awesome, awesome. Good to hear. Uh, and what would you do with the prize money? I'll travel around the world, Katie. I'm going to just pay school fees. <laughs> <laughs> school fees. Of, well, you can dream. You can dream big. Yeah. Take it away. So smooth. Wow. Let's pick on one of our judges, Michelle. Hey, what did you think? Oh, Tebs. That was so good. That was amazing, wasn't it? Yes. 
Teb, so what most people decide to um, do with a four-piece band, Tens can do all by himself, which is amazing. Um, yeah, look, I thought that was absolutely amazing. The versatility, the, you know, uh, stage presence, the whole um, piece of work together there was just really, really stellar. So well done, blown away. Congratulations. Good luck, take a seat. Thank you. Moving right along to our next contestant of the evening, it's Hilmi. Are you around? Hey. Hey, Hilmi. How are you going? Good. And what school are you at? At the University of Adelaide. Awesome. Welcome to Melbourne. <laughs> yeah. uh, and what would you do with the money if you won it? Um, to fund my research data collection. <laughs> A data collection? Yeah. Wow. What, do you, what, what sort of data? Um, education stuff. Wow. I'm studying PhD in education. Wow. Yeah. PhD in education. Use it to fund your studies. Yes. And your research. Yep. Awesome. <laughs> Take it away. <laughs> Thank you. Well done. I have one question for you. 
do you want to build a snowman? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I think there's no snow in the city. <laughs> Gary, what did you think? Oh, apa kabar, Hilmi? That was beautiful. <laughs> Bagus sekali. I'm so proud of that. That was such a beautiful rendition of, of the song. Great song choice. It really showed your, your range. And I, one thing I would take away from this is never to go karaoke with you because you are so <laughs> bloody good. And it's such a great song because I could see all these heads bopping in the audience, but all a little bit embarrassed to sing along with you. But that was beautiful. Well done. Great song choice. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Hilmi. Take a seat. We are reaching the penultimate act for this evening. I would like to call to the stage Matty. Matty, are you around? Hey. Now, I recognize you from last year. Yes. Back for the prize, hey? <laughs> uh, where are you from? I'm from Brazil. Uh, and where are you studying? I'm studying at SAE Institute in Byron Bay. Oh, Byron Bay. Awesome. Welcome to Melbourne. Uh, and what would you do with the money if you want it? Um, I think the first thing would be to actually buy that saxophone because I got in the leasing plan as I couldn't afford to buy it at the first stance and maybe just like keep investing the money to like keep following the dream of becoming a successful musician. Yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> Good luck. Go for us. Okay, so, okay, so um, I'm going um, to perform I'm gonna Talks perform by Coldplay, talks by Coldplay talks by and Coldplay. this song talks about the TikTok of the clock and how we spend our time in this crazy journey we call life. And I chose this song because it talks a lot about home and I know there's a lot of international, like a big international community here and I just want you to think about home right now, but not home home, but just whatever you feel home like your home place where you feel that can be a person, that can be a mental state, that can be a place, your hometown, whatever. But yep, um, I hope you enjoy.
Amazing, amazing work, Matty. Another multi-instrumentalist, one-man band. Uh, let's hear what the judges had to say about your performance. Alex, well, what well, do you audience, think? What do you reckon? <laughs> What's better than playing one instrument, three instruments at the same time? Muito obrigado, Mateo. Estou com incrível. Whereabouts are you from in Brazil? I'm from Florianopolis. Flo Flor Down south. Floripa? Yes. You let up my gear? Ah, oh, yes. That's the place. <laughs> Love it. Oh, thank you so much, Matthias. That was a really incredible performance. I thought it was a great song choice and it was a really important message that you conveyed through it as well. And just saw it, seeing how you moved on the stage just showed, just showed to me, demonstrated to me how passionate you are about music as well. I tried to learn the saxophone when I was really young and I can appreciate how difficult it is to play that uh, instrument. So well done, Matthias. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well done, Matty. Well done. Take a seat, join the other contestants. Oh, take your, the light up sax. Can we give a round of applause for the light up saxophone? <laughs> I played the clarinet for a very long time, and my, if I, my teacher ever saw me putting flashing lights on my clarinet, he'd have a heart attack. Um, but you make it work. All right, we've come to the final act for this evening. Yeah, yeah. What a performance, what a performance we've had. Uh, I'd like to invite to the stage Ariel de Brazil, another Brasileiro. <laughs> Hola. Hey, how are you? Doing very well. Feeling good? Yeah, a little bit nervous. You'll, you'll be fine. Now tell us, uh, where are you studying? I'm studying at Monash University. Excellent, awesome. A few fans here. Uh, and what would you do with the prize money? Uh, definitely invest some, donate some, and looking forward to the day that my family comes to visit, so I'll spend it with them. Awesome. Take it away, Ariel. That's what core body strength looks like. <laughs> amazing, amazing. Um, now let's hear from one of our judges. How about Gary? What did you reckon? Oh no, is it Michelle? Michelle. You go. Michelle. You go. Maybe we should all go. Yeah. Sorry, Michelle. <laughs> what did you think? Oh my God, Ariel. I am exhausted from look. I, I don't know what I was expecting, but that has completely surpassed my expectations. That was amazing. Brilliant song choice. Amazing. Um, the athleticisms and the versatility and just the talent seeping out of every one of those core muscles in the middle there. <laughs> just amazing, amazing stuff. Um, so well done. Brilliant job. Can I ask you a very... 
quick question. What do you do to work out? What's your gym routine? So it's all body weight. <laughs> um, a lot of pull-ups, muscle-ups, which are the ones you go all the way to the top, and handstand push-ups. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, great. Have fun with that. <laughs> Thanks, Ariel. Take, take a seat with the other contestants. Thank you. Give it up for all of our contestants. That's it. You've seen the, you've seen the top 10, our top 10 finalists. I would now like to ask uh, our judges to leave the auditorium and begin your deliberation process. They're going to sneak off quietly or noisily. Um, and I'd like to introduce you to our, our, our next act. Uh, very exciting. Um, Sapphire Dance combines the joy of Bollywood with professional dance artists to deliver spectacular Bollywood entertainment. They've been delighting audiences across Australia and overseas for a decade. Their seasoned performers are industry professionals who also instruct at Australia's leading Bollywood dance school, Studio J. Get ready to be mesmerized by the color, energy, and Bollywood drama that is Sapphire Dance. Oh, yeah. 
Thank you. Thank you, ladies. Oh, wow. Worth the wait that one was, hey. Woo! Yeah, you got to find, it's, it, yeah, it's hard. You, let me, hold it open. Thank you, thank you. No worries. <laughs> That's fine. It's even harder in the dark. 
There's chords everywhere. There's instruments all over the place. Um, excellent. I believe the judges are back. So I would like to invite all the contestants and the adjudicators up onto the stage. Come on down. Don't be shy. It's the moment you've all been waiting for. Tuan, hi. Hi. How are we all? I'll get you guys just to stand over here, just to my left. It's the moment you've all been waiting for. Just standing right here, guys. Come on. I'll get the adjudicators over here to my right. Michelle, hi, welcome, Alex, Gary. Um, and I believe we have someone to present uh, the awards. Are you there, KD? Oh, hi, hi, Sundari, sorry. Look at these fabulous novelty checks. <laughs> right, so we'll begin backwards. So we'll begin with the announcement of the third place. And I would like to invite Michelle to announce third place. Amazing. Thanks, Danny. Actually, before I announce third place, can we just all give it up for our amazing master of ceremonies? The very talented Danny. Amazing job tonight, Danny. Now, it is my absolute honor and pleasure to present third place, which is a bit of an unexpected decision. When we went outside to finalize our scores, it turned out we had joint scores for third place. And unfortunately, it was too tough for us to pull them apart. So we are actually going to present a joint third place to two acts tonight in the form of, do we have a drum roll? Can we get a drum roll? <laughs> Just uh, want to say, uh, just give your hands up for all the contestants today. They've done an amazing job. As you saw, competition was so hot that we had to do give a joint prize out to <laughs> for third place. But second, uh, um, second place goes to. Somebody who de displayed amazing physical talent today. So I'd like to give it up to E Levantam Asmaus Ariel Branchi. <laughs> It's all yours. How are First we tonight, place. everyone? Good? Are we excited? <laughs> oh, work with me. Are we excited? Yeah. Do you have a favorite? Yeah. Oh, yeah, a bit hesitant there. Well, uh, as we said, it was difficult to find a winner because everyone here is a winner. It's really difficult to stand up here and perform to a crowd, but you do it with so much class. So congratulations, all of you. Big round of applause. Big round of applause. So the winner, the winner had really good song choice. This winner could move to music. You know, do you have a winner? No? Oh, you know. This person dressed really well. I think all of them did. Uh, this winner could move in mysterious ways. And this winner had lots of fan in the room. Ladies and gentlemen, her church will be very happy. Her parents will be ha happy because they're getting a refund. The winner is Nicola! <laughs> Nick, 
Hello. Uh, Nicola, do you want to say something? I just <laughs> to your wonderful uh, <laughs> I'm very grateful for <laughs> the opportunities. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I just want to, <laughs> I just want to thank my mom for supporting me today because she's meant to go back to Singapore on Monday, but she, <laughs> she's here. I think this is a very special time. So for many of us who are international students, you know we're not going to have this opportunity without our parents. So I think it's really special, Nicola, that you have your parent <laughs> farm here today. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations to our winners and to all our contestants. Thank you to our judges. Huge shout out to all our sponsors. Um, special mention to Emily McGrath and KD and your team from Sydney. You've done an amazing job. Thank you to our audience. Have a great night. Dancing. <laughs>